Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, uh, as much as I am a fan of uh, steel bracelets, these days, especially on the weekends, I've really enjoyed those uh, sporty uh, type of straps, the parachute straps, also known as the, the French Navy straps, the Marine Nationale, Nationale uh, made uh, apparently famous by the, the French Navy. Uh, I don't know what's the connection to a parachute, I've never really done uh, any... Uh, <laughs> skydiving uh, i'm guessing it has something to do with the, the safety uh, but these are really cool and have a lot of advantages over the the typical natos the first being that the, they are elastic so adjusting on on, on the, the comfort on, on the wrist is uh, is infinite as your wrist expands contracts you don't really need to readjust but still you have an infinite amount of adjustment thanks to the the minder here so you bring it uh, closer to the watch to make the strap uh, tighter and uh, you bring it push it away to make it uh, looser once you have uh, the hook inside the the minder i've never seen it come out uh, come off the the wrist because you have the the pressure from uh, from the wrist the material seems to be very durable. So I get mine from a shop called Mr. Chrono here in Hong Kong. I think it's their own uh, brand. Probably you can find it from a uh, different brand. I don't have any affiliation. I'm not selling you uh, anything, just making you aware of the existence uh, of these. Uh, you know, if you compare to a NATO, NATO is, uh, well, it's not a, uh, it's not a stretchable uh, fabric. And also you have those, uh, those holes. Uh, you don't have an infinite amount of uh, adjustment. The biggest drawback of the NATOs is that there are double pass. You have the watch on top, you have the wrist at the bottom, and it pushes the watch higher from the wrist. While these um, parachute straps, you can barely notice uh, anything. And if and it does, they basically just uh, protect the watch a little bit from the the sweat and the the moisture that you you're gonna get, especially um, if you're in a more sporty uh, kind of kind of environment. Uh, I wear these on the weekends uh, mostly. And, uh, and outside, as you can see, they don't push, being single pass uh, straps, they don't push the watch higher up. The drawback is that uh, you have to remove the uh, spring bars to be able to uh, install them, and then you can't really uh, um, see your case back uh, as easily if uh, there was anything to, to see. But yeah, you have to remove the spring bar, you push the strap in, and then you put the spring bar back in. Once it's in, feels very secure now if a thief was to come and pull on your watch i'd rather have this on the wrist because it's elastic it's not gonna it's not gonna take away uh, half my my wrist uh, do, doing so uh, i mean it, as much as it is nice and secure on the wrist i suppose i'd rather have this than a metal bracelet uh, you know if someone was to to pull on it uh, although i think when you wear a watch on, on this it will be a bit more incognito, you know. Uh, people won't really notice uh, what watch you have on as much as when you have the, the bracelet, you know. When you have these, looks a bit more sporty, uh, a bit more under the radar, I, I find. Uh, the other thing that I like very much is that uh, on a tall watch like the Tudor Black Bay GMT, you have uh, quite a big gap here. And any watch wearing on the strap, you will have the, the gap there showing your, your wrist. And uh, those straps hide both the, 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 the case itself and the, the gap there. So I really like uh, the way it looks. And uh, it's all, it also brings a lot of color into uh, your collection. It's fun to mix and match. Uh, both of these look, look good. I'm trying something new on, uh, on this watch. I think uh, this uh, black version. Will, uh, will look very good, but this is a 22. Here I have, a, I need a 24 for this one. So there's a bit more shopping coming, uh, probably. Uh, and, you know, when the, the bracelet, like uh, for example, this Seiko, the bracelet doesn't really match the, the case so well. It's great to find an alternative that's uh, super comfortable and you can wear this at night. You don't, you don't feel your watch at all. It also removes a lot of the mass if the bracelet is very heavy, like uh, on the Tudor. Black Bay GMT. So honestly, lots of advantages. And as I, I know, you might have noticed, I have installed this one the other way. Typical, you would typically you would have uh, the clean portion here, and uh, you hook 
coming uh, towards you. If it's a bit hard to to hook, you just push on the the top there, and uh, you hook you hook it up here. So on the other side, you leave uh, this uh, this minder uh, there. I don't know what what it's called, but on the Blackbeard GMT, somehow I find that it finds itself. Uh, it feels better on, on the wrist, more more secure when I have the hook away from me and uh, hooking on this side. It's not any more complicated to, uh, to, to hook in and uh, I don't mind looking at uh, this bit uh, towards me, having a cleaner side uh, away from me. So try both, my advice, try both because uh, they both are valid and doesn't make any, any difference. And um, there you go, I wanted to let you know that make you aware that this uh, exists before you keep on buying too many NATOs uh, that I, I think uh, apart from the uh, easiness of uh, slipping them on and off don't offer as many advantages as those uh, those parachute type of uh, straps so if you've learned something today please leave a like on the the video and uh, yeah good luck with your strap experimentations. Bye-bye, guys.